So you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, Florida, and you're really interested in moving to Mandarin, that really nice neighborhood. Maybe you saw my video on it and you would like to know, you know, where's the places to shop, where's some great housing, uh, where's some great restaurants, where's a hospital if you need to go to one, <laughs> where's some great parks, that kind of thing. Well, stick around because in today's video, I'm gonna take you into Google Maps and show you all of that stuff and you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time on this channel and you wanna know everything about living in the Jacksonville, Florida area, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current real estate market here in Jacksonville, Florida. My name's Jay Wyke, I'm a local real estate agent, and I get calls, texts, and emails all the time from people just like you that are looking for help relocating to this area, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in a month or moving in a year, give me a call, give me a text, give me an email. I'm happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville. So let's jump into Google Maps. So here we are in front of my computer. We're gonna jump into Google Maps using Zoom, and I'm gonna show you around Mandarin. Uh, a little bit of insight about Mandarin. I don't know if you knew this, but historically it was the home, winter home, of the author Harriet Beecher Stowe. And uh, Google her, she's famous for writing a very famous book, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and she had a winter home in Mandarin. Anyway, well, let's jump in Google Maps. Here we go. So here we are looking at my computer. Uh, we have the map of Jacksonville that you're seeing on the screen right now. And um, wanted to also show you, I'm gonna flip over here. This is Duval County. You can see the outline of it here on the map. So this is all Duval County, right in here, this area right here where this outline is. And this is of course where Mandarin is where X marks the spot. Um, I know you pardon me. <laughs> I know y'all are familiar with Jacksonville, the downtown area of Jacksonville, but there it is. That's Jacksonville from the Main Street Bridge. There's an aerial view of our beautiful beaches. Another view of the beaches. Another view of uh, the Wells Fargo building downtown more downtown. Anyway, let's jump into Mandarin. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to outline my interpretation of the area of Mandarin for you. And we established that it's in Duval County and it's in the southwest corner of Duval County. And Duval County is huge, as you saw on the Google map. So I'll outline Mandarin for you here. That's the northernmost border, comes down like this, comes over to the, and there's, there we go. That's pretty much the shape of Mandarin. Uh, and I talked about that during my Mandarin vlog some, <laughs> if you will run and recall that and check out my Mandarin vlog video. Went through three houses, three different neighborhoods, three different price points. Nice video, check it out. You get to see some uh, nice video footage of Mandarin. So here we are on the map, of course. Uh, I've outlined uh, Mandarin for you. Let's, let's cover some distances now. All right go from first place you're going to go to is Naval Air Station Jacksonville and you can see very clearly that uh, Naval Air Station Jacksonville is right here here's Mandarin of course this is the Buckman Bridge that goes across and you would be 20 minutes from work if you were in the Navy, military, and you wanted to live in Mandarin and commute to the base, NAS Jacks, 20 minutes away. That's very close. All right, let's do um, 
downtown Jacksonville. That's 30 minutes drive to downtown Jacksonville from Mandarin. Let's do Jacksonville International Airport. That's 40 minutes drive from Mandarin. And let's do Nicholas Beach, which is Ponte Vedra Beach. Put that in. So roughly half an hour, about 30 minutes drive from uh, Mandarin out to the beaches. There you go. So that's the distances that I wanted to cover. Um, let me show you some of the nice parks that are in uh, Mandarin. So you have this one, Walter Jones Historic Park. Show you a little bit of that. They have some nice walkways, beautiful trees, cypress trees there on the river's edge. All righty. All right, this is another really nice one, Mandarin Park. They actually have a boat ramp there so you can take your boat and launch it and park it all for free and uh, go out running around Julington Creek. And you can run out from Julington Creek right here and you're in the river right there. Uh, a lot of high school kids go to Mandarin Park for their senior photos. So, uh, and also for prom, that's what I meant to say, prom photos, yeah. Really nice, really nice park. Uh, you can go there and catch some fantastic sunsets, beautiful sunsets over the river. There's one, there's an example of one right there. It can be pretty spectacular. Somebody has their dog there. All right, that's Mandarin Park. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let me show you where some of the schools are, the public schools are. And of course you can check those through niche.com or uh, greatschools.org. So right there is Mandarin Middle School off of Hood Road. Some photos of that. There it is, Mandarin High School. And that's off of Greenland Road. We get through some pictures of that. That covers Mandarin High School. Uh, hope you never have to go to one, but I'm going to show you where the hospital is, closest hospital. Again, here's Mandarin. It's going to be right here, Baptist Medical Center South. And I have been there a couple times <laughs> uh, for other folks and also for myself. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty great hospital right there. Okay, uh, let me show you a little bit of uh, where uh, Mandarin, old Mandarin Estates is, where I did that uh, 
new construction video. I'll show you that one. And that's right here. Old man in estates, brand new construction, beautiful homes. Right there. Wow, look who took that picture. Some guy named Jay. Can you believe that? There's the gate. All right, old man in estates. Got that one. Let me show you where some of the shopping is. Of course, everybody wants to know where to get groceries and stuff like that. So right here, you have a fresh market, beautiful, wonderful, beautiful, clean grocery store. They play classical music there. It's something else if you want to ever go to a fresh market. Uh, show you a couple of restaurants that are awesome as well. Uh, this Chillington Creek Fish Camp, fantastic seafood. Uh, I love the beaches. I love going to the beaches, but I'm here to tell you, you don't have to drive to the beaches. If you want great seafood, you can get right there at Julington Creek Fish Camp. And they have free valet parking. Very convenient, very easy to use. All right, V Pizza, love that place. I highly recommend the Calabrian uh, chicken wings. They actually cook them in the pizza, in the pizza, wood-fired pizza oven, and you've never had chicken wings like those before. They're amazing. Uh, Turn Race Hardware right here at Sunny's Barbecue. So this main road that I'm talking about is called 13, State Road 13. And you'll also hear it referenced as San Jose Boulevard, but that is a main north-south roadway within Mandarin, okay? And that road is literally, we could spend hour, an hour or more of me trying to give you every single restaurant and store. It's just, it's totally loaded with every type of ethnic variety of food that you can imagine. Um, it's got all the, you know, chain restaurants. Um, it has lots of the big box stores. You know, you've got Lowe's, Home Depot, Target, um, Publix grocery stores, Crumble Cookie, um, Zaxby's, lots of banks are on that road. Uh, plenty of places if you want to get your car worked on, you know, plenty of auto places, uh, plenty of auto parts stores. It's just, uh, Every, any, just about anything you want or can imagine that you might need, you're gonna find it on San Jose Boulevard. Uh, they even have a Trader Joe's and a Whole Foods on um, San Jose Boulevard, okay? Wanna give you a little scenic road, uh, insider scenic road to take a ride on. Uh, it's this road right here called Mandarin Road and it follows the land alongside of the river like that. And there are amazing, huge, towering oak trees that overhang that road. And there'll be a lot of photo opportunities for you uh, to take photos. And there's beautiful uh, multi-million dollar uh, riverfront homes all along that area. So let me show you that real fast so you can get some idea what I'm talking about. Here it is for the satellite view, that point of land in Mandarin right there. And look at this, all of these are homes with boating docks, fishing docks, piers, uh, with boat lifts, boat houses, beautiful, beautiful areas to live all around that whole point amazing area okay and um i'm going to show you a little bit of a couple of houses that i picked out that are on the mls so we're going to jump in there uh, i found one house here uh it's going for four hundred nineteen thousand dollars, and uh it has a pool it's in very good shape um it's got a fresh 
relatively fresh roof, fresh HVAC, and the house was repiped in 2019. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,456 square feet, and it has an in-ground pool for $419,900. And show you a few quick photos of that one. This lot is very wide. Look at that. And we're getting to the pool. Look at that pool. Looks like a tropical paradise in that backyard, doesn't it? And that can be yours here in Mandarin. <laughs> the sub, uh, nice neighborhood in Jacksonville, Florida for $419,900, all right? So I'm gonna, we're gonna take it up a level. I'm gonna show you what else you can get. All right, this one's a little more money. I'll admit it's $2,550,000. This house, hopefully uh, the screen capture grabbed the whole thing here. I'll show it to you from this way. But um, this house was actually owned by an architect and it was his personal home. He designed it. Um, it's three stories. It has a 1,200 square foot garage there. Yes, I said that 1200 square foot garage. Built in 2006. It's 4485 square feet. It's right off the riverfront. Four bedrooms, four full baths and a half bath. Take you through some photos of that real fast. Look at the ceilings in this house. They're all wood. <laughs> Look at the sinks. Look at the everything on this house. Mind blowing, isn't it? Look at the view of the river. Uh, the primary suite, the master suite is on the top level, the third story. Of course it has natural gas. Look at the closets. This is crazy. Look at the view from the balcony of your bedroom. Everything about this house is custom. This is a one off, one of a kind, custom built, contemporary, architecture home on the river in Mandarin, but even, a, even as an outdoor kitchen. So if you want to see that one, reach out to me. I can make it happen. I'll get you in there. All right. So we're going to jump out of Google Maps. I'll catch you on the outside.